Well, I got an, an important thing to uh, show from Anime Illuminati's YouTube. Hey, thanks very much for Gina and Obama holding it down. Bam, they dropped it. The Battle of the Communities. That's what this is called. So this is the 3v3 Grand Blue versus Online Tournament. Your game of the FGC route is what it says. So what game are you from? So there's Guilty Gear, Melty Blood, Arcana Heart, Dengeki, Bunko, Fighting Climax, Blaze, Blue BB Tag, Sam Show, etc. It goes all the way down, right? So players representing a bunch of different games. My favorite part was Moke was on Team Street Fighter V, and then he lost to Team Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> what a, a moment of betrayal. So I think before the tournament started, most people thought the Melty Blood A and Guilty Gear A were the two strongest teams. And uh, you guys can guess who made it to the finals. Top four, it's a single limb bracket, in case you guys are curious. Team Guilty Gear was Kazunoko, Dogra, and Omito. They, the order they ran was Omito, Dogra, Kaz. That was the order. Yeah, it's Kubo first, right? This is Kubo. This is considered the strongest player at Grand Blue early on. Like he was yeah, Kubo, he made a lot of the early tier lists that people saw, right? Uh, I think he was one of the, the very, very early adopters of a lot of the tier lists that we saw. Anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, two very, very common characters, common matchup. In this matchup, Gran is the aggressor, right? So he has to approach often against Catalina. Uh, you're going to see that quite a bit. Just because, you know, I mean, he is that kind of character. His his neutral buttons are great, but they're not as good as hers, right? They're not quite as strong. So she can kind of play the mid-range game, and you see right here, this is where he's going to just kind of sit there and... He's going to struggle a bit. EX Fireball. An important part about this matchup... By the way, an important part about this matchup like is when either character throws EX Fireball, if it doesn't work, if the other player dodges it or blocks it or whatever, right, you really lose a lot of control in the neutral by no longer having a Fireball, right? Once this Fireball is thrown, this, this EX Fireball, it's on cooldown for a long time. So the fact that it hits is so important. It secures a knockdown. You get to run the entire length of the screen. And you get pressure. This pressure will stay long enough that, you know, you get reset back to neutral. You'll have your Fireball again. If it doesn't work... You suddenly have to fight without uh, your fireball on the ground. I think that's more important for Gran than it is for Catalina. She can fight on the ground without without the fireball, I think, a little bit better. Yeah, you see a lot of reversal sweep from Kubo's Gran. You, you kind of have to in this matchup. It's one of the best buttons. You just hope that it trades with one of her big buttons and, you, you know, it works out okay. Yeah, again, run up dodge. He's very scared of these long buttons from Catalina. She just dominates this range really well. That was a good space out boot. Dead. Yeah, reversal, light, light, light. Kubo, you know, he needed some pressure. Right? He needed some pressure. And if the character is just going to sit there and, like, play mid-range, it's pretty tough for Gran to, to win at this point. So, you know, you got you to gotta try to press in some way. Yeah, her lunge, by the way, is interesting. A couple of interesting things to point out here. Her lunge is harder to space out to be safe than Grand's boot, for instance, or B+. Plus. This is punishable. This is like minus 5, I think. Minus 5 or minus 6. And uh, this light right here punishes, but to punish it, she has to do standing light into EX lunge or something. Her uppercut from range a lot of times whiffs. So her best option is EX lunge, and if you don't want to spend it, your punish is not very big, right? You just get standing light into nothing. People ask about tomatoes. Yeah, again, guys, I'm sorry about tomatoes. It's not, I didn't put it in here. But if you want to get rid of the tomatoes, you have to mm -hmm. so Damn, medium after beat the uh, button. I thought that boot might have been plus. You see a lot of late techs in this. There's an OS that gives you a very late tech. So a lot of late teching or trying to tech on reaction because um, I think with the tech window, like to early or regular tech. Oh, no, dead, right? No. No, no, no. Bro, come on. Uh, yeah, the tech window is like, early tech has to be within like the first 13 or 14 frames or something. 12 frames, maybe? I mean, that's how this matchup goes. I was talking about how much she dominates the mid-range, but yeah. Obviously, the damage output for this character is humongous. Oh. Yeah, another thing that you see here, and Juna's talking about it a bit, is what people do in the neutral in this in this game quite a bit to deal with stuff like boot and make it more punishable, is they walk forward and they hold the block button. When you hold the block button, it makes your character fatter, right? And your character, when they're fatter, they block the, the you know, boot or they block whatever earlier. Moves like that are like dive kicks where you want them to hit you earlier or in positions that make them more negative. So walk up like block button to make yourself fat so that, you know, the boot or the drill hits earlier makes it more negative. That's something you'll see a lot. 
at boost, like they call it like a uh, drill type. Boost. Boost that that should have been a punish. That's too bad. Tech is to walk forward. If you walk forward and block, you'll mess up your opponent's range. So that's what you see them kind of like uh, to beat the drills and to beat the boots and stuff. They're just like walking up and blocking a lot. Yeah, this hurts. The thing is, for the next bit of pressure here, you just, you know, you don't want to get hit by counter hit overhead in that situation because that's what kills you. There's no other cooldowns for Catalina available. Yeah, Cat's damage is super high. That was a little early on the dodge. If that heavy punch hits, you can hit confirm it as well into the EX lunge, and then it's it's over at that point. You just do heavy, you know, fireball into super after it's over. Nice, dead. Something that both of these characters do quite a lot, right? If they ever hit a far spaced out fireball for any reason, at this range, you don't have a normal that hits. I mean, she just barely doesn't hit. So that's why she gets the EX lunge after. And yeah, you see kind of the pace of the ground game is very slow. You know, approaching by the air is tough against this character. Approaching on the ground is tough against this character. So what ends up happening is like Gran is stuck on the ground. You saw him try to do surprise EX boot. Didn't work out. And yeah, I mean, at the at this level, at the top level, this game slows down quite a bit, right? I mean, characters like Cat are really good for just grinding out these really footsie heavy matchups. Okay, next match. So this is Team Sam Show versus Team Melty Blood. I think Koji Kog is next. I think Goichi is their anchor. Although, I, let's see. Oh, Goichi's second. Okay. So this is Goichi. Yeah, very, very defensive matchup. A lot of... One thing about Goichi, more than the Catalina we're watching here, he does a lot more crouching medium. And uh, the 2M is hit confirmable. So you see a lot more 2M swinging from Goichi than I think a lot of other players. He really likes that button. It's a great button, to be honest. This Goichi guy seems pretty good. He is pretty good. Who, which player is this from Team Sam Spirits? I think this is uh, Gamera, right? Gamera plays this. Tahichi is the um, Matera player. Koji Kog, wait until you see Koji Kog play, by the way. Wait until I would never want to play Koji Kog in any fighting game in my life. Samurai Spirits is Sam, Sam Cho. So in this game, nice held. Yeah, I don't. I wonder why he did EX drill that. Oh, why? Why? Why dodge? Yeah, Juno's right. This this super is three hits. You just block the last hit and punish. I don't know why dodge. I honestly have no clue. That's so confusing to me. But all right. Just block it. This game, another thing you have to remember about this game is that a big win condition for so many characters is cornering you because that's where their damage is high, right? Oh, seven seconds on the clock. Dead. The, a big win condition in this game is cornering people because your mid-screen damage is often not high, right? Your mid-screen damage is often not high. So cornering someone is such a big deal. You'll see people just super jump out of the corner and do anything they can to get out of the corner because... When you're cornered in this game is when you eat all that damage, right? So you really have to avoid getting cornered no matter what the cost is. Yeah, let's medium, 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 medium. It's plus. Her close M is extremely good. So you just run up and press over and over and over, and your opponent's afraid to hit a button. Bro, people, you know, why isn't this game three out of five? It's lightning fast. Lightning fast. Uh, the, I mean, these characters are slow. <laughs> Wait until Koji Kog plays. Then you'll be like, oh shit, please make it four out of seven. <laughs> Anything. Please make it. Please make it stop. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's tr he tried to guess on the timing of the the lunge. Jumping is very good on defense in this game in general, actually. It's something that you'll see a lot of players do, particularly out of the corner. That had to be EX lunge. EX fireball doesn't combo off that. That does combo. The EX fireball does combo for that range, but he's a little bit too slow to cancel. Now you have to be close. You have to not only be close, but yeah, you have to do it immediately. I don't think it combos max range. The EX fireball off the standing light. Off of far range standing light, you have to do EX lunge. 
Samurai Showdown? Is it, are they actually the strongest team? Dude, the if they, if you know, if they take out Goichi here, it's all on Koji Kog to bring it back, and you know that's got to feel bad. One player has got to win three first the ones in a row, but Koji Kog's that kind of player that can do it. Yeah, single hit, hit confirm again. Goichi is swinging with that 2M a lot, right? It's an extremely good button for this character, and, you know, it's what you have to do. You have to grind out the neutral and really look for those hit confirms. Oh, I think that was a, an input error from Goichi. I think right here, this is maybe supposed to be like a crouching heavy into this, and then Goichi just got the raw drill instead, like missed the crouching heavy. Yeah, if you don't have EX launch in the corner and you get crouching light, standing light at range, like your options are... You know, they're not great. Yeah, this is a bad spot to be for Goichi. One hit, you know, you get hit by a fireball or lunge off the wall, you're just dead. Run, super jump out. Again, I mentioned this earlier. People just do this, right? Like, they just, they don't care what happens if they get anti or whatever. They just, like, run, super jump out of the corner just to get the fuck away from the corner where you can die in one hit. But then, counter hit anti that's not that bad because there was no confirm off of it. But mid screen, it's so much less damage, right? The big, the big damage chances in this game are anti air damage, uh, counter hit overhead, or getting hit in the corner, right? Which is exactly help, help. Oh, that could have been hit confirmed. It was pretty tough. Though. It was regular hit, and it was like crouching dead. So that's a risk free option right there. Yeah, in this game, fishing in the corner for a button into an EX fireball is is such a high reward for something that's very safe, right? Because in this instance, if you do crouching medium and you do EX fireball or you do heavy into EX fireball, whatever, right? And your opponent blocks it, you're in a great position. You know what I mean? If they get hit by it, right, then it's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's over. Dead, you just do 50% off of whatever the hit is. What a confirm? That wasn't a confirm. It was on block. The heavy was on block. This is an EX fireball. If you're talking about comboing off this, this part's easy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So that's a risk-free option right there. Yeah, it's it's super, super, super like easy to just throw out. That's a really risk-free option. Just button. I did look at the strive, obviously. Yeah. Super safe option there. Okay, Tahichi's coming up next, right? The Matera player. Yeah, the heavy was on block. He just fished for the EX fireball, expecting him to hit something after, probably. So it's one apiece here. This is uh, Tahichi. Really, really good Sam Show player. I feel, I feel like I've seen Tahichi like, put in the most work on this team, actually. Yeah, one thing that's interesting about this character, Matera, is her standing heavy, which is the button she's hitting right there, is cancelable into special moves, but only if it's on block or hit. You can't do it on a clash. So if she does uh, standing heavy, dodge and punish, yeah. If she does standing heavy, right, and you clash with it with another projectile, she can't cancel it and win the fireball war. Oh, that that almost comboed. It was a little, I think, too high. Good damage, good knockdown on this. And I mean, her only defensive option, Matera, is her super. And so because of that, you know, you can really press rather safely against her. You only have to watch for her super. Oh no. EX, and then that was going to be button into uppercut after. Yeah. Really just kind of grinded out the pressure. In this matchup, you don't want to spend uh, too much time in neutral as Catalina, right? So you see Goichi, he's trying to find a way in using that EX fireball, using a lunge, using a super jump, regular jump, you know, do something to get around these projectiles. Butterfly. If the butterfly doesn't activate right on top of you and put you in block stun, then that's when you're in trouble. Nice bait. So you see this, does this uh, jump forward here, like hops forward and then stalls the air momentum with this fireball. Baits out the instant uppercut, right? Goichi did the shortcut uppercut. You can tell it says it's shortcut because there's no good here. If it's as good, it's uh, real input. Shortcut uppercut, baited it, and then lands to medium into the EX for the knockdown. Very good option. Yeah, this is this is a rough spot to be. Again, a common common bait from Matera. After this is over, does standing heavy and then does light. This light right here is this is her standing light, far light. It looks like she's shooting an arrow. It's a standing low. It has like no hurt box. It's an extremely good bait because you see Goichi sees this and is like, oh, that's a projectile. Jump, 
and then anti-air. Even if you block it, which this is one of the only characters in the game, you can block her anti-airs on the ground, or her grounded anti-airs, because this move is a projectile. She just cancels into hop for pressure, right? So, so what you can do if you're a Matera player to beat that, if you know they're going to jump and block your anti-air, then what you end up doing is you just do standing medium or some other button that's not really a good anti-air, but it's a good anti-air if they just empty jump. That's like the option you go for instead. Oh, that's, yeah, dead. Five heavy, just close heavy like that is really easy to hit confirm. It hits like nine times, so, you know. Yeah, for Matera, if she thinks you're going to empty jump to deal with the projectile, you can you can do jump air throw, you can do, yeah, EX butterfly. That's un unblockable uh, in the air. Oh, you blocked it? Wait, you can block that? That's bad, yeah. Oh, it went the wrong way. He messed it up. How did he block it? Butterfly? Oh, I missed. Still triggered the butterfly, but it didn't end up mattering because Goichi had already jumped past it. Late teching. Scary to late tech, right? Because you don't want to get hit by the over. Oh my. Help. 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 But there's no there's no gray light, there's no chip There's no yeah, there's there's I mean you just block, right? There's no chip. Don't get me wrong. But it sucks, but it's not like yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Welp. <laughs> Not quite dead yet. Oh, the dodge! That's huge. It's huge as lamb dropping the big nine. Thanks very much. Push her into the butterfly. What? Oh no, it didn't activate. The overhead didn't activate the butterfly, or he would have won the round. The second overhead, though, he was a little bit too early. He had to extend that block string so the butterfly could get in place. He won the game off that overhead, but it was too early. Catalina is very fun and interactive. Yeah, Goichi's just working on chip here. With the EX fireballs and the EX lunge. Anybody's game. 26 left on the clock. Life lead is on. Go to side, but he's going to get chipped out. He's going to get chipped down. Yep. That would have been EX fireball. And then after the EX fireball, EX lunge. Yep. You already see it. Goichi was just doing it over and over to get chipped. So he was going full screen. He would throw EX fireball. Then EX lunge spaced out. Get like a little bit of chip, like 5-10% of chip, then back up. Wait for it to come back on cooldown. EX fireball, EX lunge. And Matera, she kind of has to go to the air to beat that, right? Which is like... For this reason, he's just like, all right, I'm just going to stay up in the air. I'm just going to, or I'm just going to stay on the ground, wait, and then do this. Right? That's what he's going to do. If you don't buy me, that better be co copy pasta. That better be copy pasta. I ain't buying you a damn thing. Goichi, taking out Tahichi. I mean, there's no tournaments right now. Anyway. You can't do this. Is that character lock? That, that Lord Knight clip is fantastic, actually. It's, it's mids. Are they gonna make him go back or what? Wait, he switched characters? Yeah, yeah. So the way this game works too is you don't select your character on the screen. You have to oh yeah, that's right. It was a mistake on the character list. Okay, Catalina, Catalina. It seems like this character is pretty good. Remember when I t I tweeted it February like 17th or whatever, and I was like, I think Catalina is better than Grand. And people were like, no. These Japanese guys gotta change their names, man. Oh my god, it is. It's Goichi versus Koichi. <laughs> if you, yeah, I feel like if you played Catalina for five seconds and did, oh, the punish, he punished with close heavy. Do I still think she's better? Yes. My man's waking up. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, like, um, what was I gonna say there? Man, I can't believe he punished a dodge with close heavy. That was impressive. If you played this character in training mode for five minutes and didn't see how good her buttons and ground game was, like it takes, yeah, it takes seconds to just be like, wow. Look at this far anti air, by the way. Koichi tries to empty jump. Goichi anti airs the f the empty jump, right? Crouching heavy would have missed here, and if Goichi crouching heavies, then Koichi lands and punishes with crouching medium and a light launch. That's too good. The spacing is too perfect, right? See, and Goichi was standing right outside, standing heavy punch range to try to whiff punish. Yeah, next hit wins here, especially in the corner. EX lunge is the end. You get hit by any button into EX lunge and a button into super, it's over. Dead. 
super. Goichi grinds it out. Slow and steady wins the race. This guy Goichi is pretty good. He might he might be good. Rising star Goichi, the melty blood player, he's pretty good. 